I'm Joe from Extreme Terrain, and on this very special episode of Throttle Out, we're at SEMA 2019. So we're inside the convention center at SEMA 2019. I am super excited to be here. It is a great day to be a Jeep fan, but I gotta tell you guys, 2019 is gonna be the year of the Gladiator. Gladiator, Gladiator, Gladiator. These things are absolutely everywhere. We're gonna show you some other cool builds too, JK, JL, that is gonna be in this video. We're gonna talk to some of our vendors, get the idea of new parts coming down the pipe, and of course, my top three Jeeps of SEMA a little bit later on in the video. So stick around and let's get started. Walking through the show, another one that caught my eye here, this is gonna be Black Rhino's Lifted Gladiator. This thing is a really nice overall build. On the front here, we do have a worn winch right behind me. Full Fabtech suspension, 40 inch trail grapplers by Nitto wrapped around the 17 inch Black Rhino Renos. That is a really nice combination in my opinion. This thing is fully bed liner as well in that hunter green. Looks so good and to top this build off, we do have that Overlander bed cap back there, which is really neat for the Gladiator. I haven't seen that yet. Now, this might not be one of the most modified Gladiators out here, but as a unit overall, I really dig this one. So moving through the show here, one JL that really caught my eye is this one right behind me. This is going by the Storm Swamper. Now, there's two things that go into that name. The most obvious one, this is gonna be a little bit reminiscent of a Stormtrooper from Star Wars. So we have the Darth Vader grill up front. It's a little bit shrouded, but you guys have seen that before on the JL. Moving right along here to the second part of the name, we do have the 44 inch Super Swampers here on all four corners. This is definitely a really neat tire, one of my personal favorites. Fox Skyjacker combo for the suspension as well. Definitely really well built. We have the tube doors on the side here, and as far as the interior goes, we have some black quilted leather and the Storm Swamper logo embroidered on the headrest. That is a really, really nice touch as well. To wrap things up, we do have the full exoskeleton roof rack with the KC highlights on the front end and the fastback hardtop. Now, as a Star Wars fan and as a Jeep fan, to see the two come together with the Storm Swamper, this is a really nice build. So this is my number three pick of the show. It is the Hennessy Maximus 1000. Hennessy, tuning legend out of Texas, and they really turned this Gladiator up to 11. Hellcat power plant, eight-speed transmission, making 1,000 horsepower, 933 foot-pounds of torque, and that makes it good for zero to 60 in about 3.9 seconds. Now, I wonder if they could get that any faster if they took the doors off, but that's neither here nor there. It's also got a King 6-inch lift, BFG 40 inch tires wrapped around fuel wheels. This thing is amazing. It's one of 24 built. It could be yours for the cool price of $225,000, but it is a great all arounder. And this thing is worthy of a number three. So I'm gonna dub this Gladiator right here behind me the OG, sort of the old meets new. In this case, OG is gonna stand for Original Gladiator. We have the brand new JL Gladiator here right behind us, but this has the old school Gladiator grill conversion, which is completely custom, and I think it actually really fits the front end of the JL Gladiator really well. But that's not all this Jeep has to offer. We do have the Deviate bumpers, both front and rear. 37 inch tires with the Fox shocks as well. Some DV8 doors in the middle will really tie the whole DV8 theme together. Everything is color coordinated, that gray, black, and red, which I'm personally really a big fan of. And to top things off, we do have the tent on the bed, which I have not seen on the Gladiator yet, but that is really, really cool. This is definitely one that is worth seeing. Guys, we're here at the DV8 booth with Brandon, and he's the R&D and marketing manager. I spied a couple new parts on their Gladiator here. Brandon, why don't you take us through a quick walkthrough here? I eyed up this chase rack first. Let's dive into that a little bit. 
Yeah, so the chase rack is made out of eighth inch steel and the nice thing about it is that no drilling or anything required, it's full bolt on. And the light bar at the top, I noticed there's a big mount at the bottom and a smaller one underneath, right? Yeah, so we actually wanted the ability for people to light up the bed as much as they wanted. So it does have the ability to mount the 10 inch right in the center. So you can angle down into the bed and light up the bed when you're working on it at night. That's awesome. Now also, one thing I noticed here, this tire carrier is kind of a swing arm setup. So this is specific of the JLSR prototype. It allows you to mount up to a 42 inch tire and have hydraulic assist when lifting it up. That's great, yeah. So when you have stuff in the bed, you could have this in the up position, throw stuff in there, take it right back out, and then when you're doing some daily driving, the idea is you can swing that right back down, right? Exactly. One more thing right here, these bedside sliders, can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, so the bedside sliders are actually really cool. Between the two, they actually weigh about 100 pounds, and the reason why they have so much weight to them is we really wanted them to be strong. So the outside of the slider, you're looking at 3 16 metal. However, the un entire underside is quarter inch thick. We really wanted the bracing on the underside to prevent any movement when coming down off of a ledge. Yeah, right. With the Gladiator, one thing that was always sort of a weak spot is this truck bed out here. It kind of hurts the departure angle a little bit, and something like this is definitely gonna help if you plan on doing any wheeling in the Gladiator. So on the surface here, Brandon, this rear bumper, it's looking a little bit tame, but this does have a little bit of secret sauce in it, right? Yep, we have a little hidden storage. That is so cool. So instead of a spare, you can utilize that space to store some tools, we have some cut foam in here. Guys, this isn't exactly available just yet, but DV8 is gonna be bringing this to market very soon. I'm sure it is gonna sell really well. Brandon, thank you so much for walking us through this Gladiator. So we're here at the Jeep booth, standing in the middle of a bunch of, you guessed it, Jeeps. There are a lot of Gladiators here though. We're gonna take a look around and see what the old OEM has to offer. So what we're standing in front of right here at the Jeep booth is the Jeep J6. Now, if I were to make a Gladiator, this is exactly what it would look like. The main story with this one is we're lopping off two of the rear doors and this is strictly put a two door Gladiator. Upping the bed size of the regular Gladiator to six foot. However, this has the regular wheelbase of the stock JL. So you get the short wheelbase, long bed with the two doors. The paint is a throwback to the 1978 Jeep Honcho with stock motor but a lot of Jeep concept parts on here. This is the shut up and take my money kind of build. Luckily, Jeep did say this was a prototype, so that hints to a two-door Gladiator coming in the future, and I have my fingers crossed. So we're still at the Jeep booth, and they are showing off a little bit with this Bikini Pearl JL here. This has some brand new Mopar concept parts on it that I really do want to show you guys. First thing first, Let's start with this steel bumper. This is brand new from Mopar, just hit the market, and you can see we do have the Mopar by Warren Winch. This satin black grill is cool, the vinyl sticker on the hood, but just moving around to the side here, we do have some brand new stuff for the JL. This door skin right here is a brand new design. You can see it has a zipper right here. This is gonna be great if you can't reach over a tube door to open it, you open that up and you can pull the lever right in that zip, which is a nice touch, of course. That is a really cool skin on there. I think that's gonna make a lot of people really happy. Also, if you roll with tube doors, this mirror mount, also brand new. Usually you did have to ditch them with the Mopar tube doors, but not with this design right here. So good work, Jeep. We're standing right next to my number two pick, and that is the Fab Four's Gladiator. Now, this Jeep has a lot going for it, and that's why it's gonna take my number two spot. First things first, the suspension. Dana 60 front axles. We have that really popular Skyjacker Fox coilover combo. I love these tires too. Mickey Thompson Baja 40 inch, and they're wrapped around those Raceline bead locks. We have our high clearance fender flare. This is a Fab Force piece too. We have the gill box right behind it, which, hey, the styling there is maybe a little bit polarizing. I like how it ties together the rock lights though. We also have some tube doors, Gladiator specific side steps, and to put the cherry on top, the Smittybill tent, but that is not all this Gladiator is bringing to the table. I'll meet you around the other side. So right above me, this is the 23-0 awning. Now, this is a great piece to complement the Gladiator. Mounted up to a Fab Four's roof rack is exactly what you need when you go camping. Now, as an entire build, this is really awesome, and in my opinion, easy of a number two pick. 
So what we're standing in front of here is not exactly a Jeep, but this is the kind of build you can expect to see at SEMA. This is a Scooby-Doo Monster Jam monster truck, and this thing is absolutely insane. The shocks are taller than me. The tail on Scooby is almost hitting the roof. The header setup on this thing is also insane. This thing must be super duper loud. And last but not least, we do have some 66 inch tires on this thing. Guys, we're here with Hank. He's the director of marketing over at Rugged Ridge. We spotted some brand new parts on your JL. Why don't you walk us through these? This is our new Venator bumper. That is one of our uh, stamped steel bumpers. So we have a lot more design features in this that you can work with. And the overrider has some elements that tie into the grill. Are these massive hooks? They allow for two sizes of D-rings as well as a recovery uh, strap. Now this one is the Venator. This is not available just yet, but in the past few months, you guys have been dropping some other bumpers as well? Correct, we've came out with the Arcus bumper, which is another stamp steel uh, bumper. That's a more of a stubby version. And we came out with our HD line, which has a stubby and a full width, but that's cut, fold and weld, and that's more of a off-road bumper. I really like what you guys did with the bronze accents here on the winch too, and on the Fairly, that's showing off a little bit. Now there's one more product we saw on here. Can you tell us a little bit about these LED running lights? Yeah, so chop brackets. We already had one without a uh, daytime running light. Uh, it allows you to cut your fender to create more clearance for your wheel and tire setup, leaving the inner liner in, or you can take all the inner liner out and still works. But you guys have some, some other options for this style as well. Correct. We also are using this DRL in a complete new poly fender flare that has a stock look to it. It just gives them a higher clearance as well. Hank, thank you so much sure. for showing us around these new products here. Can't wait to see these on the market. Let's get back to the show. Now, where we're standing right here, this is gonna be brand new for SEMA 2019. This is the Overland Experience, and this whole pavilion is devoted to overlanding. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can find. So here's one that caught my eye. This JL here is pretty much Smitty built from front to back. Bumpers, winch, rock sliders. The only thing that is not Smitty built is gonna be the long arm kit. That's from Rubicon Express, really nice piece. But the real story is gonna be out back here, being the Overland Pavilion. Smitty built does have all their overlanding products on display. And this Scout trailer here is really cool. Tons of storage space. You can see plenty for a generator, jerry cans, compressed air. Over on the other side, we do have a little bit of a Coleman grill setup, sliding trays out the back, and that is perfect for a fridge freezer. And also there's an awning over there to provide you a little bit of shade, of course. There's also some sleeping quarters up top with this Smitty Build tent. This is a great rig to go overlanding with. Here's a great example of an overlanding rig taken to the extreme. First things first, let's start with the JL up front. Of course, lifted a little bit. The Black Rhino wheels look really good. Again though, the real star of the show here is gonna be this Hiker Trailers trailer back here. You got the triple awning set up. You do have a shower. Everything inside is gonna double as sleeping and storage space. You get a lot of pull-out shelves in the back there. Really nice and modern as well. I definitely would not mind disappearing off the grid for a couple days if I had something like this. So here we are guys with my number one pick of SEMA 2019. This is the five quarter. It originally started life as a 1968 Gladiator, but suffice to say, it's had just a little bit of work done. First things first, full carbon fiber face here. This thing looks really good. Sitting right behind that, we do have a Hellcat swap. So this thing is putting down 700 horsepower. Moving into the suspension, we're rolling on 40s here. Full King coilovers, exactly what you want to see. Next up, let's talk a little bit about the interior. That is also really immaculate. And actually, the trans tunnel is made out of a supercharger casing. That is really cool to see as well. One thing I did want to show you guys that is really, really neat, this little bit of storage right here. You can flip that open and pull that out to get a couple of shot glasses. And that is just so cool. Let's move to the bed here, which is full aluminum. We have a couple of jerry cans. They're actually not full of gasoline, but instead gin and tonic. I really like that as well. And gone are the leaf springs of the past. 
We have full King coilovers back here up front. We have a Dynatrac 60 in the rear. We have a Dynatrac 80. This is an immaculate build. I love this thing and it is well worthy of my number one pick for SEMA 2019. That's gonna do it guys for my SEMA 2019 coverage. I had a ton of fun, a lot of great Jeeps here. The sun is going down on the Las Vegas desert though and it is time to wrap things up. Now I didn't go into this thinking that my top three were gonna be all Gladiator. I really wanted to do kind of a mix, but again, the Gladiator here really stole the show. Wrangler did win SUV 4x4 of the year though, no doubt helped by the Gladiator. Guys, make sure you subscribe for more cool content like this one. I'm Joe. Keep it right here at Extreme Terrain for all things Jeep.